What's up guys, CB Modi here, back with another video. And today we're here with lasers. And more specifically, this guy, a two and a half watt eBay laser engraver that I recently picked up. Now, if you are after a review, this is not exactly going to be a review, more of an overview, first impressions and thoughts of this particular unit, as I haven't fully got it working well, fully properly, so I can't exactly give it a proper review. But if you are interested with a full review, do stay tuned. I'll leave it linked down below when that video does come out, and it should pop up in a card when that review is ready. But nevertheless, we're here with my kind of impressions and thoughts and uses of this particular laser engraver. And man, are those first impressions not exactly the best, but more on them in just a moment. So after searching the internet like an absolute mad detective, I managed to work out what on earth this thing is, as it was sold to me as a 2.5 watt laser engraver with no model numbers, no information, and when I contacted the seller they didn't exactly know what it was, so things weren't exactly off to a great start. And I did find out later on that this is actually an LX Maker laser engraver, or at least based on that on a board system as the controller matches very closely to the LX system that I did find out there. So if you have a similar system to this and you don't exactly know, it is from my understanding, again, an LX Maker Laser Engraver. But with that being said, we'll touch on that in more in just a moment. Now when this thing arrived to me, I was super excited. It came in a nice big brown box and had all the bits and pieces everywhere but it didn't have any instructions. Unfortunately, there was not a single piece of paper in there telling you how to build this thing, other than like a warning card that said you could probably go blind if you use this thing wrong, which was a little bit of an issue. The entire machine did ship with absolutely no paperwork, no online documentation, and when it came to actually building this thing, as we can see by this time lapse, it took me a very long time to actually do it and took me three different sessions to do it and I needed to use the reference images from the eBay seller mainly because of the time of building it I had no idea what model or anything this was, so I couldn't even search the internet for a similar design one. So I actually went on the eBay page and used these three reference images to kind of figure out where everything went. And I do have to say it kind of worked out, although I do have a few bumps and bugs that I still need to work out, which I'll share with you in just a moment. But once I did get this thing built up, it was a bit of a problem to actually do so and took me quite some time to actually build this thing out as again, there was basically no instructions. From the fact that this guy shipped with four identical looking screws that were all one millimeter difference in size and no one actually telling me which screws needed to go where, it was a rather hard thing to actually build. However, once assembled, the software front was also to just as much problematic. Now, as again, there is no documentation with this printer or rather this laser, uh, finding software that one works for it and commands and firmware that will actually run it is another major problem. In terms of the actual controller on this guy, I did mention it is based on the LX Maker board, but the controller and firmware that it's running is still a little bit of a mystery. It seems to respond fairly well to Arduino firmware and commands, but I'm not fully sure that it is actually an Arduino system. So the board may be just an Arduino system that I'm completely forgetting which model it is, but it seems to respond to that firmware and also to software. So I'm going to go on the basis that it's running some sort of a mixture of controllers here. But once assembled, I finally got this thing fired up and we started burning some lasers. Now, if you did catch the laser engraver series or the laser series, which should be linked down below, it's a little vlog series that I have going on sort of behind the scenes, trying to get this thing running and doing some cool stuff. You may have noticed a few things in that video. First and foremost, yes, I did indeed get it to actually burn stuff. Stuff, but another problem arised. Even though I managed to build this thing out, get the software to talk with the actual hardware and all that kind of stuff, I've now run into the issue where I have a drifting problem and the y-axis doesn't really increment. If we take a look at some of these test burns that I've gone ahead and done, when I try and type the word CP modder on this piece of wood, we can see the first few letters all line up and then the rest kind of shifts around. I don't exactly know what is causing this, but it seems to be something to do with the motors and their positioning as to not exactly going ahead and working properly. And whether I have it in the outline mode or scanning line by line, nothing seems 
seems to be helping out here. In fact, when I do set it to scan line by line, the X axis moves, so the laser moves up and down the uh, little plane here, but it doesn't actually move the bed or rather the um, arm back and forth on the platform. So the Y axis doesn't increment and the X axis does, which is a very major problem. The problem being is basically when you scan line by line, it'll go line and then line and then line, much like old school printers did. But the problem is it's going to go line and line and line and not actually move itself along. So you end up just going to be burning a massive hole in your piece of wood. Not really that great. So then I went ahead and set it to outline mode, which worked a whole lot better. I could get things printed. I could print circles and squares, but whenever it came to multi-object items, it just again flat out failed. For example, here is a bit of a burn where I did a square inside of a square. But as we can see here, we have a bigger square and then like a smaller rectangle for some reason. I don't know why on earth it cannot do exactly what it needs to do. There seems to be the software seems to be fine, the firmware seems to be fine, and the hardware seems to be fine. I can uh, move the X and Y axis through the actual Benbox software that I'm using. So I honestly have no idea why these things keep drifting around. And for reference, if I go ahead and do a solid burn right here, we can see that this is what it's meant to look like. And then this is what comes out, an absolute mangled mess. So I'm still in that phase where I have no idea what is to blame, whether or not it's the motors themselves, whether or not it's the firmware and the actual controllers, or it's the software. It's still a three part mystery for me to figure out. And I did go ahead and do a ton of research. So far I've been spending about 10 or so hours in total uh, doing my research into this and everyone that I've seen that set one of these things up with roughly the same hardware configurations all have built it, loaded the firmware on which I've also to loaded as well and they've just pushed go and it seems to work just fine. The X and Y axes both move correctly and everything seems to be fine. It seems to be my particular unit just doesn't want to work. Now again, whether it's something that I've accidentally configured incorrectly or this particular unit is just a dud, I'm not exactly sure but there's still definitely a lot of work to get this thing up and running. But with that being said, so far actually getting it to work on the more basic things has been really, really fun. The laser works just fine and whilst the glasses are okay that comes with these things, if you are planning to use these uh, laser engravers with these cheapo eBay glasses, don't. Go buy something that's actually legitimately decent and usable for the wavelengths of these lasers and that will protect your eyes better. The uh, little green ones that do come with these guys will get you by, but they're nothing really that great. And I do recommend picking something up that will protect your eyes much better. As let's face it, once you're blind, you're kind of blind and lasers and eyes don't really mix very well there. But again, when it comes to burning basic shapes, it does the job just fine, but anything more than a basic circle or square really seems to trip this thing up, which can be a little bit of an issue. So I guess then that brings us to the conclusion of the overview of this video. The build definitely was okay, if not a little bit on the poor side, as there was no documentation and no information that was provided with my particular unit. There are definitely some sellers out there that are shipping their units with some documentation and pieces of paper but overall when it comes to these kind of I guess more DIY style uh, printers and lasers and stuff it is a little bit on the uh, do-it-yourself figure it out type of side. The software side was also to a little bit of a problem as there isn't exactly one major company that I can tell that is making a universal decent laser controller which is another issue right there and then also to when it comes to my particular unit I do have this weird drifting issue but once they are sorted out out, I think it's definitely going to be a very interesting and useful product. I just have to go ahead and put the time in to figure out how on earth this thing actually works. And if you want to follow along with that series and see what I actually do to get this thing working, uh, you can find the laser vlog series linked down below. And if you are already into the whole laser engraving scene and uh, do know the answers, here are my settings that I am using on Benbox. Here are some b-roll shots of the actual product. Um, and if you have any suggestions, ideas or forums where you think I may be able to get some answers to why this thing is doing these problems, please let me know down below. I'll be very happy to hear from you guys because at the moment I'm kind of at a loss. But again, if you do know anything, please let me know down in that comment sections. If you do want to pick one of these guys up, I'll leave some links down in that description box if you want to check some of these guys out. They're pretty interesting nevertheless. Otherwise, stay tuned for the review and the laser vlog series we've got coming down the lines. Thanks all for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Yeah.